to go. The season on the right foot of Matt Bryant. So Trey Junkins has been sitting on the couch watching the NFL all year long for 17 straight weeks. And now he's in a pressure cooker situation having to snap this ball back. Ready for the snap by Junkins. We await the snap. Here it comes. A giant collapse, a courageous comeback, and a controversial conclusion. The 2002 NFC wildcard game. On the final play of the 1990 NFC Championship game in Candlestick Park, Matt Barr's 42-yard field goal ended San Francisco's dream of an unprecedented third straight Super Bowl title and sent the Giants on their way to a second Super Bowl. Twelve years later, on the same field, the Giants and 49ers would meet in the NFC wildcard playoff. Again, the game would come down to a New York field goal attempt on the final play. Matt Bryant's try would be nearly the exact same distance as Matt Barr's kick. But this time, the results would be drastically different. An hour before kickoff, the Giants were confident and in good spirits and no one could have been in a better mood than Trey Junkin. The 19-year veteran hadn't played it down during the regular season, but New York signed him earlier in the week to assume their long snapping duties. Little did he know that by the end of the day, his world would be turned upside down, along with holder Matt Allen and kicker Matt Bryant. This was a tough day for kickers from the start. In warm-ups, rookie Jeff Chandler twisted his ankle. But 49er head coach Steve Mariucci had bigger concerns than the health of his kicker. Rumors were swirling that his job was in jeopardy, and he was facing a Giants team that had won four straight games. Mariucci knew how difficult it was to escape the shadows of 49er legends. And so did his quarterback, Jeff Garcia, whose last postseason win was the 98 Grey Cup in Canada. The Giants were intent on making sure his first NFL playoff victory would wait another year. We are not satisfied until we end that season. That's the way I look at it. Let's end that season. You can talk all you want. You Got to do it on the field, fellas. Let's get it done on the field. Let's send these punks packing. Let's get it done. Guys, on three. One, two, three. Yes. I expect to be playing next week. It's our day. I expect to be playing next week. Man is on three. One, two, three. Yes. Six times before, these heated rivals had met in the postseason, with each team winning three. Round seven would be another classic, a game that would see two offenses soar as they combined for 77 points and nearly 900 yards. But in the end, it would come down to the last snap. Let's get after it right from the start, right here now. 
right, let's play ball. Jeff Chandler's injured ankle did not prevent him from kicking off to start this wild card game. But it was the Giants' offense that really got off on the right foot. Ten to throw. Looking. Dumps it off underneath. Barber's got it. On the opening drive, Kerry Collins found Tiki Barber, Jeremy Shockey, and Amani Toomer. Three men who would have extremely productive days. It's a gain of only three on the play, Julian. Peterson, the pro bowler, with the tack. Drops back, looking to throw. Swings it right. Caught by Tumor. Gets his feet down at the 33. But it was 49ers linebacker Julian Peterson who would make the first big play of this game. Receivers to the left and right side. Double tight end formation. After a play fake, Collins drops back to throw. Throws across the middle. Deflected in the air. Niners should have it. And they do. Julian Peterson on what we're about I don't know why they're throwing to that guy. 11 catches all year long. Dane had it in his hands, and it bounced up in the air. It got tipped, and Peterson gets the interception. First turnover of the ball game. Absolutely huge play right there. Peterson's pick gave San Francisco the ball at its own 34-yard line. 11 seconds later, the 49ers were in the end zone. Man of the backfield, Hurst throws to the right side. He's got a receiver at the 35. Breaking it away is Owens. Can they catch him? He's in the 40. He's in the 30. Cuts in the middle of the 20. Down to the 10. Five. Touchdown, 49ers. 76-yard touchdown play. One play, 76-yard pass play to Terrell Owens. Garcia threw a bullet. Owens made the catch on Will Allen, and Allen missed the tackle and barrowed it and wrapped him up, and no one was catching Owens. And give an assist to Michael Barrow. He came in after he, Owens had been held up, and he actually broke up the tackle. Terrell Owens showing not only that power to get out of the tackle of two guys, but then speed to run away from. We've seen him do it all year long. that play up at that 76 yards took 11 seconds for San Francisco to score after the interception Michael Barrow's missed tackle helped Terrell Owens score the second longest touchdown pass in San Francisco playoff history the 49ers couldn't have hoped for a better start the Giants could only hope their tackling would improve The inability to wrap up ball carriers or the football would become a theme throughout the first quarter. Oh, and it was all but picked again. Julian Peterson had the ball in his hands, and he's going to do push-ups in pain over the fact that he didn't keep the ball. <laughs> you know why he's doing push-ups? Because that's something you have to do in practice. The linebackers penalize each other, so if you drop a ball in practice, it's 10 push-ups. Had Peterson held on, he might have been celebrating a touchdown instead of punishing himself with push-ups. But Peterson wasn't the only 49er who might have been so psyched up that his hands let him down in the first quarter. Back to throw, Garcia steps up in the pocket, throws left sideline, Garrison drops the ball. About the only thing the 49ers did have a firm grasp on in the early going was Tiki Barber's face mask. Hand off to Barber, slants over right tackle, and boys, he pulled down hard. And that 15-yard penalty would begin the Giants' first scoring drive of the game. Tight end Dan Campbell proved to be an effective fullback. And while Barber began a trend of running effectively wide left, Amani Toomer established that he would have success all over the field. The 20 runs out of a tackle and dragged down from behind at the 18-yard line by Ahmed Plummer. The Giants have had the ball for most of this first quarter, but a turnover and a 76-yard pass to Terrell Owens had the Niners in front 7-0. Collins to Toomer would be a consistent combination for New York. And although they didn't connect on this play. Here we go, 11, Terry. Give me float right. 41 front and smoke. 
Jim Fossil hoped Toomer could dominate his matchup with 49er cornerback number 29, Ahmed Plummer. Collins over center, short set, lobs it left, looking for Toomer. He's got it for a touchdown on Plummer. Back shoulder throw, and the Giants are with an extra point of tying it up. Toomer grew up in nearby Berkeley, rooting for the 49ers. Great job, great try, great try. Nice job, nice job. Play ball. His touchdown tied the score at seven as the first quarter came to an end. Hey, 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 uh, hey. hey. So with 18 again. seconds yeah. to go in the first, go, Giants and Niners are tied at seven. Midway through the 2002 season, head coach Jim Fossil assumed the play calling duties for New York's offense. As the second quarter began with the score tied at seven, it became evident that San Francisco's defense was no match for Fossil's balanced attack. First and 10 Giants to the 39, the give for Barber, picks his way left, reverses his field to the 45-50, in Niner territory to the 40, to the 35, and knocked out of bounds at the San Francisco 32. Tiki Barber finished 2002 as the NFC's second leading rusher, and his 29-yard gain moved the Giants deep into 49er territory. Two receivers set, Collins to throw, swings it right, he's got Shockey at the 10, bounces off a tackle at the 5, dies for the end zone, and they say he's down at the half-inch line. Wow, what a play, and what a hit. Boy, Bronson just nailed him. You know, when he was at Miami, he had a teammate called Peyton, the son of Walter, and they used to watch film together, and he said that's what he tries to emulate when he catches the ball now. He looked like Walter Peyton right there, running over people. Trying to run over Julian Peterson instead of around him prevented Jeremy Shockey from reaching the end zone, but it didn't stop him from celebrating. Two plays later, New York's brash rookie, who scored only twice during the regular season, did find the end zone. Takes the snap, looks left, lobs it left, looking for Shockey. He's, He's got it for a touchdown right over the defender. Jerry Shockey. He simply jumped up over Parrish. And the Giants, who've won four in a row, are beginning to establish some pretty serious momentum in this game. Number of plays right now, 30 for the Giants, 10 for the 49ers. Shockey was playing a starring role and directing at the same time. And New York fans liked what they were seeing. 12-19 to go on the second. Giants 14, Niners 7. And while his teammates celebrated a seven-point second quarter lead. We're not stopping, though. We're not stopping, baby. Shockey not relished stopping. not only his touchdown, but also his collision with Julian Peterson. <laughs> not though. I wanted more to score. I took that one personal. The 49ers were trailing by seven and struggling to run the football. So Jeff Garcia took matters into his own hands and feet. And after a play fake rolling out to the left is Garcia. He's got a blocker in front of him. Deese, he's across midfield, and he's pulled down at the 46-yard line. You've got to keep him in front of you. He's just a terrific, terrific runner. And when he gets out of the pocket, he's spectacular. He looked like Houdini on that one. Garcia's sleight of hand fooled the Giants. And with their quarterback running and their receiver passing, San Francisco moved closer to a tying score. Throwing he is. He's got a man. Is there anything that guy can't do? 49ers have a first and goal just outside the seventh. Set up very nicely because we've seen a fake reverse to Terrell Owens prior to that one. Giants probably caught a little bit off guard that time. First and goal at the seven for San Francisco, down 14 to seven. Garcia back in the pocket, looking, rolling right. Giants in pursuit. Stops at the 11, sinks his way to the five. Garcia to the goal line, and he stops just short. They're going to say he's down just at the line. Two plays later, the 49ers again thought they had scored a touchdown. Third and goal. 
inside the one. Garcia with a handoff to Barlow. He pushes to the goal line. The ball hit the line, it appeared, but still no touchdown call. Say he was stopped. Oh, he's dead. And it is not a touchdown. Clock's running, Jeff. We got to get him in the huddle. We're going to go past 96. -y. We'll review it, but in case we don't. Are we saying no. challenge it? Challenge it? Runners ruled down by contact. Slow to the goal line. Taking a look at it right now again. Barlow got stopped initially. His second surge got him near the goal line. After review, with well, the ball in his possession, the ball carrier broke the plane to the goal line. Touchdown. Touchdown. 40. The 49ers had tied the game at 14 and maybe found another backup quarterback at the same time. I had to, I had to see through everything. Side on that quarterback now. I got my popcorn. I'm ready for something else. It's a great job of saying it, man. You know what I'm saying? You're on the field. We trust you. You know what I'm saying? Great job on the, on the channel. Nice little old throw. Do it on the line. 6.05 to go on the second. Giants and Niners tied at 14. Well, if the Niners are going to win this game, then it's about time they stop the Giants because they really haven't done that all day. And Collins, after going straight back to throw, is going to take his first sack of the day. Brought down by... With Tiki Barber failing to effectively pick up the blitz, Julian Peterson made another big play and helped force the Giants to punt. Julian Peterson is showing exactly why he's a pro bowler. Cedric Wilson standing back at the Niners 23. He's looking into the sun. Gets the punt away. Oh. Good high climbing kick. Wilson looking into the sun. Fair catch called. Lady must the football recovered. Locked loose. The Giants diving on it. They have it inside the 10 at the 8 yard line. What a punt by 58 yards. Matt Allen. Allen to the sun. He just lost that ball. Oh, what a mistake by Wilson. Huge play with 2.54 to go on the half. And the Giants now, as the momentum had begun to swing to San Francisco, now have a big opportunity to change it again. First and goal at the eight-yard line. Collins rolls right, throws right. Schumer's got it, makes a sick move, and walks in for a touchdown. Great move. And they worked on that cornerback. Ahmed Plummer will not even talk about it right now he's playing with a groin injury has already been reported from the sideline the 49ers don't have anyone left that's why he's still out there you can see it on that play because Amani Toomer just planted came back inside Plummer not able to do that Amani Toomer just turned Ahmed Plummer inside out and the Giants lead it 21 14 and the Giants make the Niners pay Toomer's second touchdown catch nice job way to go shot let's go fellas go to work baby Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go score now. We got two and a half minutes. We have two and a half minutes. Two timeouts. Let's go. The 49ers' two-minute drill came to a sudden stop when Jason Seahorn, playing in his final game as a Giant, picked off a Garcia pass. And the Niners getting rattled and coming apart. With a minute 53 to go in the half, Kerry Collins continued to attack San Francisco's secondary. He's got Barber on the run. Tiki knocked down at the 23-yard line. Tiki Barber, they're going to him early, and they're going to him often. Sixteen seconds to go in the half. Toomer goes wide left, guarded by a beleaguered plumber. Collins takes the snap, back to pass, pumps, looks, lobs it left. He's looking for Toomer, and he's got it for a touchdown. Right over Plummer again, his third touchdown catch of the half. What a pass thrown by Collins and Toomer, the go-to man. My goodness. He's beaten Plummer all day long, and Kerry Collins has thrown four touchdown passes in the half. The Giants headed to the locker room with a 28 to 14 lead. Amani Toomer had three touchdowns. And ironically, during halftime ceremonies, his former high school, Concord De La Salle, was being honored by the 49ers for their 138 game winning streak. The opening drive of the second half, 49er head coach Steve Mariucci decided his team needed to take chances to get back in the game. So how aggressive do the Niners want to be today, trailing by two touchdowns and a foot to go? I think it's a time to send a statement that they need to go for it. And Mariucci just did that. A big, big play for San Francisco. It'll be fourth down and a foot. Garcia with a handoff to Beasley, and he loses yardage. They do not get it. Mariucci's gamble did not pay off, as Giants defensive end Kenny Holmes slid down the line of scrimmage and teamed with linebacker Dahani Jones to stuff Fred Beasley. He lost.
lost a half yard, and the Giant defense holds. And this could be a defining moment in this football game. Given great field position, Tiki Barber again found running room down the left sideline. any more points against this giant team now. Barber was approaching 100 yards rushing already, and his successful and blitz pickup him. gave Kerry Collins time to find Amani Toomer. Time, Collins throws it right. He's got Toomer again. Inside the 15. Racing ahead, and then gets it punched out from behind, but it goes out of bounds. First and 10 at the 14. Collins, handoff Barber. Trying to run right. Cuts it at the 15. Breaks to the outside. Tiki to the 10. Tiki inside the 10, and knocked out of bounds at the 6. Blitz on, they give for Barber, runs right, Tiki to the goal line, touchdown Giants! Ah, big, big, big play. Boy, was that easy. Ooh. And this game is in serious trouble for San Francisco and their fans right now. Very quiet here at Candlestick right now. Trailing by 21 points, Jeff Garcia was forced to pass, and the Giants knew it. A steps up, throws to the right sideline, ball is caught and dropped. Eric Johnson should have held on to that ball, but he couldn't, and Short knocked it away from him. And so an incomplete pass, and the 49ers getting some unfriendly remarks from their fans here as they get ready to punt the ball. New York forced a three and out, and the Giants continued their aggressive play on offense. Twice, Collins found Ron Dixon, who had missed the previous four games following knee surgery. But it wasn't long before Collins again exploited the mismatch between Toomer and Ahmed Plummer. In high formation, but Collins is throwing, and he's got time again, and he's got an open receiver. It's your usual suspect, Amani Toomer, all the way down to the three. He's just eating up this secondary. And they don't have anybody in cover to him. Racing in motion comes Dixon from left to right. Play fake. Collins rolling right. Looks back in the end zone. Shock, he drops it. He had an easy touchdown and he just dropped it. Everyone remembers Joe Montana to Dwight Clark. Collins sort of drifted, 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 and Shockey just could not haul it in. On the next play, Shockey did hold on to the football, but he was ruled out of bounds. The Giants were forced to try a field goal. Let's go. Junkin, the new snapper. Snap, spot, kick on its way, and it is true blue. So, 4.27 to go on the third. Giants tack on three more. Giants 38, Niners 14. The Giants had scored on four consecutive drives, and they held a 24-point lead with less than 20 minutes remaining. Jeremy Shockey's drop touchdown seemed trivial at the time but it just might have been the key play of this wild, wild card game. Down 38 to 14, Terrell Owens and the 49ers knew the comeback had to start now. With 422 remaining in the third quarter, the 49ers went to a no huddle offense. The no huddle when the Niners have used it on occasion this year has been pretty good. And Jeff Garcia quickly found the rhythm. It's amazing because uh, we see this week after week in the NFL. Defenses change up their schemes. Now they're getting soft, and the 49ers are moving the football. Led by former Giant number 78, Scott Gregg, who shut down Michael Strahan, the 49ers offensive line did not yield a sack the entire game. Nice time by the offensive line. Jeff Garcia looking much more confident. The 49ers, like the Giants, also found a mismatch between a receiver and a cornerback that they felt they could exploit.
When Terrell Owens lined up in the slot, he was often covered by Jason Seahorn. They have a third down and four at the 26-yard line of the Giants. They trail 38 to 14. Middle field, field. Straight back drop by Garcia. Throws quickly across the middle, caught by Owens, breaks the tackle. Gets inside the 10, down to the five, dives to the goal line, touchdown, 49ers. He beat Stoudmeyer and Allen, both had a run at him. Seahorn was the first man that he should have had, that should have had him. Seahorn is a big corner at 6'2", 213 pounds. He's matched up man to man. He's got safety help over the top. And just the power of Terrell Owens, he just drags him for about three yards before he breaks loose for the touchdown. to 21 if they want to go for one, but they're going to go for two. All right, Jim, line up quickly. Four trips right, Hex. 322, double stick, halfback smoke. Teal, 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 Teal. Garcia throws to the goal line, caught by Owens for the two points. And the 49ers live. Okay, well, a 16-point game with an entire quarter to go is not at all impossible. On a time lap. Hey, all we need is two more touchdowns. That was a little too easy, if you ask me. Seven plays, 70 yards, and only 224 on the clock. And ever since Chalky dropped that ball in the end zone, the Giants settled for three. Then the Giants went and sort of that prevent defense. The crowd is back into it after that San Francisco touchdown. All right, now the crowd's back into it and hoping that their team can pull off some heroics. Giants take over first and 10 of their own 20-yard line. Let's go, baby, let's go! Three and out! And the hand of the Tiki breaks to the outside, and he's caught by John Keith behind the line of scrimmage. The 49ers were back in the game, and so were their fans. This place is absolutely frantic right now. And when John Engelberger sacked Kerry Collins, San Francisco's defense had its first three and out of the game. They still trailed by 16, but the 49ers weren't going down without a fight. And we talk about field position, advantage here for the 49ers. Here's the punt. It's high, but it's short, way short. 49ers come way up on it, take it at the 41-yard line, and we're going to get a penalty flag here as Sutherland made the catch. How about that? A short punt of 29 yards, but then the 15 yards. You're talking about a net punt of about 14 yards. Another score in the next minute or two, and this place is going to be a very different atmosphere for the rest of this football game. Garcia kept attacking with quick, short passes as the third quarter came to a close. Garcia straight back drop. Steps up, throws to the left sideline. Caught by Stokes. Runs out of bounds at the 14-yard line. That will end the quarter. So at the end of three quarters of play, although the Niners are down by 16, they're knocking on the door. And on the first play of the fourth quarter, they entered the end zone again. And a bootleg by Garcia. He only needs a block to go in from Stokes. He's in. Touchdown, 49ers. The 49ers had scored two touchdowns in a little over two minutes. What a fake, huh? Giant lead is down to 10. Niners will go for two again. Hard trips right. 400 jet, double quick fly. That's worth the right side. Hard trips right. Garrison Hurst in the backfield. Pump fake. Garcia looks around. Starts to run. Throws to the end zone. Caught. They got another two-pointer to Owens. How about this? It's 38 to 30 with 14.55 remaining. That's San Francisco has scored 16 points in the snap of a finger. And this is going to be all sorts of fun. And now it's up to the 49er defense. Rocky Saint, champ. Somebody take the lease off your long time ago. Rocky Saint. Rocky Saint. Rocky Saint. Come on, champ. Come on. Tiki Barber, the running back. Collins with a handoff to Barber. Barber tries to cut to his right, and they swarm him under. Running game not going right now. 
zone passing game. You got to it's tough to get it back when you've let it go. The Giants play calling had become more conservative. And for the second straight series, New York went three and out. It is just amazing how momentum can change. All the momentum, the Niners way. Down by just eight points, the 49ers embarked on a 15-play drive. Most of the time, they continued to utilize the no huddle. New York's once dominant defense was wearing down. Garcia steps back to throw. Looks like he's going to run. Now he does throw. Oh, and just got it at the 40. And he's all the way out to the 44-yard line. Two receivers out to the left, two to the right side. Jeff rolls out to the right again. Wants to throw, throws on the run. He's got a receiver, and it's all the way inside the 40 down to the okay, 30. Now the real short. Mariucci was preparing for any contingency. And after a completion to Eric Johnson, the 49ers did face fourth down. At the 29-yard line of the Giants, as big a play as we've had all day is coming up right now for San Francisco. Garcia back to throw. Nobody open. Now he flips it over the middle and got it. Wow, that was a dangerous situation. Field goal team, be ready. Completion from Garcia to Owens on another crossing route against Seahorn brought the ball to the Giants' 11-yard line. But the drive would stall, and with more than half a quarter to play, San Francisco settled for a field goal. Lots of time, big guy. We got all day left here. Nice job. Look at our three right here. So they'll settle for the field goal to get him within five. We mentioned the problems that Chandler had in the pregame warm-up. Kick is up, and he better make it. It's a big deal. He does. 25-yard field goal. Right. We'll get it again. We'll get it again, T.O. Makes it 38-33 to 33 with 7.49 to go in the game. Wow. Jeff Chandler's injured ankle might not have affected his field goal attempt. But his ensuing kickoff came up real short. 35, 30, 35, and knocked out of bounds hard. So can the Niner defense step it up and stop him? Because any kind of points now are pretty much a disaster. Sensing the need to give their defense a rest and quell the 49ers' momentum, New York gained three quick first downs with short passes to tight ends and another big run by Barber. With just over four minutes to play, the Giants were almost in field goal range. Collins back, short set, bullet right. Caught by Shockey in traffic. He just took the football away from the defender, Mike Ruff. Nine-yard gain. And now with four minutes to go, this is a gigantic play in this football game. They gets the first down, then they are positioned to almost run out the clock. They give it a tiki, and he tries to squirm through, and they got him. No, he loses a yard. The Giants lead by five. 316 to go. Field goal is the right move here. Allen to hold. 42 yard attempt. There it is. It's a bad snap. The kick is away. Doesn't look good. It isn't. He missed it wide left. How about that? We talked about the Giants bringing in Trey Junkin at age 41 this week to be their long snapper. And it was a bad snap. It was low. The holder had problems with it. And the kick was poor. And so the Niners can win it with a touchdown. Okay, man, can it get any more dramatic? Maybe it will. First and 10, 32-yard line, five-point game. Garcia's accuracy was impressive. He would complete 27 passes for 331 yards. But his energy level and stamina might have been the difference. New York's defense simply couldn't keep up with the pace Garcia was setting. Straight back drop by Garcia. Garcia throws. The ball is caught. And it's a first down for San Francisco. And the Giants had to be surprised that with the game on the line, Garcia kept throwing to little-used tight end Eric Johnson, who caught eight passes against New York. The Giants blew the coverage, and he gets shouldered out at the 25. First and 10. Minute 26 to go, still two timeouts. Rolling to the right is Garcia. Steps up in the pocket, starts to run the other way. They don't see him. He's to the 15. He's down to the 13 and pulled out of bounds with a minute 14 to go.
takes the snap. Straight back drop. Has time. Throws for the end zone. a 14 lead and with one minute to go San Francisco leads it 39-38 The 49ers had scored 25 points in less than 20 minutes but New York only needed a field goal to win the game. So this game is not over yet. There's a long one minute to go. One minute is a lot of time. Chandler to kick off from the 30. End over end kick, not deep. Delvin Joyce from his own 15. Swings his way to the 30, 35, 40, up to the 45 and tackled at the 47. Chandler ends up making the tackle and now San Francisco's in trouble. With 53 seconds to go, the Giants only need a field goal. Collins over center, takes the snap, drops back, throws it right, pass complete. Dixon's got it at the 42 of San Francisco. And they're already at the 42 as Smith and Rump make the tackle. 40 seconds, 39, 38, clock still going. 37 seconds left. Using up way too much time. 36, 35. Can the Niners stop him? Collins back, looking left. He's looking for Toomer. Makes the catch. Intercepted. And no one dropped. Now, what are they saying? Incomplete at the 15. The Niners thought they had a pick. They're giving him possession to have it. They might give him the ball. No, now they're saying no. Incomplete. Take a look at it again. Collins threw a floater down the left sideline on Plummer. They went up for the ball. It bounced around, and it came out. Man hold on to the ball and the game's over and instead he couldn't and with 22 seconds to go the Giants are alive and Mariucci screaming pointing up to the press box because he knows he can't throw the red flag Mariucci screaming about it right now pointing up to those guys in the booth Giants come into the line it hasn't been buzzed from up top Giants got to get a playoff second and ten at the 42 Collins back steps up wait a minute they stopped the play with 18 seconds to go for their game Offense. So it's second and 15 at the Niners 47. 22 seconds to go. Collins in a shotgun. Takes the snap. Drops back. Look at the throw. Swings it left. He's got Dixon at the 30. Dixon inside the 30. Tackle at the 28. That puts him in field goal range right now with 15 seconds to go. And they call a timeout. Oh boy. Niners have erased a 24 point third quarter deficit. They lead 39-38, 15 seconds to go. First and 10 Giants at the San Francisco 28. Dallas takes the snap, rolls out to his right under great pressure. He just throws it up for grabs. The ball is up there, thrown out of bounds, incomplete. The season comes down to nine seconds. Wow, what a day. Back to pass, looking left, throwing left. He's got two more. He gets out of bounds at the 23-yard line with six seconds to go. we got to kick it now. Here we go. This is just a 41-yarder. For most NFL kickers, they should make this. Do you think Trey Junkins thinking about that last snap, though? Uh, You'd like to think so. Francisco. 49ers take a timeout. Try They're to last. Them. This will give him a little bit more time to reflect. The season on the right foot of Matt Bryant. Matt Bryant, the former pawnbroker, out of football for several years, has a chance to be a legendary hero in New York. So Trey Junkins has been sitting on the couch watching the NFL all year long for 17 straight weeks. And now he's in a pressure cooker situation having to snap this ball back. Remember, the last snap from Trey Junkins was low. Ready for the snap by Junkin. We await the snap. Here it comes with another bad snap. And now they're going to have to try to throw for it. Matt Allen can't get it down. He's trying to throw it. He just sees it downfield. He throws it. There's a giant there. Got a calling against the Giants. According to the 49ers, it is. 
Penalty is on the Giants. Ball game over. San Francisco had hosted some fantastic postseason finishes. Dwight Clark's catch to beat the Cowboys. Matt Barr's kick to end the three-peat. Terrell Owens' miracle grab on the last play to defeat the Packers. And now, the greatest comeback in NFC playoff history. Remember what, Bill, remember what Bill said last night? A lot of things were said, but one thing, where are you, Bill? He said, keep your poise, huh? Keep your poise. Huh? Do we keep our poise? Yeah! We're down 24 points. Man, that was the second greatest comeback in NFL history. Big time. Everybody had a hand in it. The fans had a hand in it too. Make sure you acknowledge them. It was 38 to 14. Got a little quiet there for a while. Got a little quiet. It's understandable, but you know what? Boom, here we go. Here we go. I'm proud of every one of you guys. That's a big time game in National Football League history, Julian. That's gonna go down in the annals as one of the great ones. You know when you watch classics and all that? That'll be on that one, all right? All right? You guys show the world, the whole world, what kind of character you have. Everybody in here, man. Awesome. Awesome. He put his hand up in the air to signal somebody to go down and try to get free for a pass. But by that time, men had gone downfield. Trey Junkin signed this week, a 20-year veteran, with two poor snaps. The final snap of Trey Junkin's career led to one of the craziest plays in NFL history. But it should not have been the last play of this game. One day later, the NFL released a statement which said the officials were correct in ruling that the Giants had a man illegally downfield. But he was not number 69, Rich Seibert, who was an eligible receiver on the play. Defensive pass interference should have been called. This would have resulted in offsetting penalties, with the down being replayed at the original line of scrimmage. This admission of error is of little comfort for Junkin, who months after the game said, that's the one snap, the one second of my life that I still wake up to in the middle of the night. If I live to be 100, it'll happen once a week. Well, one week following this game, the 49ers were eliminated from the playoffs by the eventual Super Bowl champion Buccaneers. Shortly after that, Steve Mariucci was fired. But his wild card win over the Giants is one he'll never forget. Said Mariucci, it's my last memory of being the coach of the San Francisco 49ers. I love that memory. It was a game for the ages. Anyone who saw it would have to agree. It was a game for the ages. Right down to the last snap.